welcome to the best episode yet. I got to go to early access shopping at Salvation Army, which has a fashion show every year of donated clothes, and it's all designer. Whatever doesn't make the cut for the show, which is what I've been working on, assistant styling, we people get to shop. And somehow we got to shop today, and I'm so excited. This is what I got. <laughs> And you're gonna watch me try it on. And it's fine if it doesn't fit, I can alter it. No big deal, we're gonna make it all work. And some of it's for my mom, but we're like the same size, so I'm gonna try it on anyways. These pants are a little small, but other than that, they're super cute. They're Laura Piani, 25 bucks. Like, I can I can just add a little panel if I need to. I love them. Dries Van Noten skirt, I'm pretty sure, yes. Perfect fit, 50 bucks. Camo print, so freaking cute. I'm like, this was my first thing I picked up, so I'm very happy this fits. These are Dolce & Gabbana slacks, and I'm pretty sure they're wool. They have this cute little bow on them, but they're kind of tight, giving a little muffin top action. My butt looks good though, hey. Um, very itchy, I... I'm probably gonna sell these. They were $45, so I think I can probably get more out of it. Very cool joggers. These are from Elements, which is a store in Dallas. Originally $345, and I got them for 30 bucks. Well, they're a little big, but I think I can like cinch in this drawstring a little bit. And even just wearing it with this black tank top and a fun sneaker, fun. This skirt is also from Elements, originally $3.75 and I got it for $30. Um, it's very small, but if I wanted to, I could take out these pleats and make it a little bit bigger or resell it. But it's very cute. Summer cotton. Donna Karen pant. 20 bucks. The in like the interior up here, the lining, the facing, is silk. And these are so soft. I'm obsessed. And I wouldn't tuck something in because it's just plain. I think the back is, yeah, plain too, but a little flare leg. They're so comfy. And I always need black for work, so I can just throw on a nice sweater with this and go work a fashion show. Diane von Versenberg dress for $25. And I'm not going to show you the front because I need Spanx, but it's very cute. I like it. It's flowy, ready to dance. My best find of the whole time. $50 Carolina Herrera dress. Obsessed. Yeah, 50 bucks. It has this detail. Detail to match. Appropriate link for partying with adults. As if I'm not an adult. <laughs> I'm not though. And I love it. It's so nice. She's a lady. This is one of the best architecture pieces. Like, can you see this design? Come on. It's amazing and it was in our fashion show but we cut it so that's why it was in the sale and I'm obsessed I knew it was gonna be a little short because it was on like very skinny like tall girl but and it's also itchy but I don't care because I'm obsessed with it I'll wear a slip under I'll wear spanks under I don't care cape she's a super villain I love it so much I got this suede dress for my mom because she loves this shape and she has every color of everything like this, but now that I put it on, it kind of looks good on me. Sneakers, cowboy boots, a booty. Come on. I'm obsessed. And mom, if you're watching this, it's mine now. That suede dress was 20 bucks. Okay, this truly, truly, I promise, will go to my mom. I bought it for her because, I don't know if you can see it, but... This neckline in the back kind of goes down. The sleeves, Carolina Herrera, purple is her fa favorite color, $40. This dress was $40. Carolina Herrera, if you don't know who that is, Google it and then come back and be shocked with me. If my brother ever gets married, she could wear this or to just someone else's wedding around the house. Who cares? It's beautiful. The inside is silk and it's so soft. It's just, it's a moment. I think that part of the, the inside tax came off because it's supposed to have this strapless on the inside and I just did that whole thing. I think you could just see my whole bra, but 
whatever. Pretend it was a swimsuit, okay? It has a strapless underneath, so Rhonda will not be scandalous at any weddings. But anyways, still a moment, still perfect, and I'll fix the tack I broke while I was zipping it myself. So to recap all of that, it is a Salvation Army fashion show, which I know sounds confusing, but it's not like normal thrifting clothes. It is the donated designer pieces like I just showed you, and those will all be at a set price. There's about 110 looks, and they will be auctioned on. So you can do a live auction on your phone. There is a buyout price if you're just totally obsessed with something, you can just buy it outright. You don't have to auction with anybody else. Uh, you do have to buy the whole look though, not the shoes, but the entire look will come with it. So if you just love the jacket, you're also going to have to buy the dress, but it's all set at one price. So if you attend the event, you can shop before and after at something called the Chic Boutique. And that will be more clothes like I just showed you I tried on, stuff that didn't make the cut for the show. So it's kind of the look... I mean, I wouldn't say less exciting, but there's some like basics. So if you want just a black pair of pants like I got, that kind of stuff will be in the Chic Boutique. So if you attend, you get better access at the first like best stuff. And then after that, whatever doesn't sell will go back to the warehouse and that will be the after sale. So I like going to the after after sale because I can find some crazy stuff. I got a full sequin American flag jacket one year. There is like wild things. If you like to dig through, which I do, that is the place to go. If you don't want to do that, you can buy a ticket to the fashion show and shop the best stuff at the event. I will answer any questions you have in the comments or you can text me, whatever, DM me, and I hope to see you there. I would also like to say the show is produced by Jan Strimple Productions and her assistant this year is Harper Reeves. Candy Long is the stylist and she was assisted by Mary Ellen Zumo and myself. We also had interns here and there. We had people help with alterations. I know Bill Peck helped some. Patty Flowers donated a dress. There's multiple people who donated outfits. Um, Highland Park Village has their own scene in the show. So a lot of hands go into this. There's tons of people to thank, but those are the ones I directly work with. So I hope you can come. It's going to be so fun and I can't wait to see how it goes.